look at this strange looking fruit. What do you think it is? It has the skin of an orange. Well, that's because it's part orange. It's also part grapefruit and part tangerine. It's a rare hybrid fruit called, maybe appropriately, an ugly fruit. The ugly fruit is an example of a Frankenstein-like hybrid fruit. There are lots of other examples out there. Let's see if you can guess some of them. Here's a hint. Pay attention to their names. What do you think this is? The pluot is a cross between a plum and an apricot. Pluots are actually more like 75% plum and 25% apricot. 50-50 hybrids are called plumcots. And fruits that are more on the apricot side? You guessed it, aprium. How about this one? It looks kind of like an orange, right? Well, that's because it's a cross between a tangerine and a grapefruit. Where do these exotic fruits come from? It all has to do with genes and heredity, or the traits passed down from the parent. Do you think hybrids can exist within the same species? Think about it. How can apples be different colors, textures, and flavors, but still be apples? You've heard of Macintosh, Honeycrisp, Cortland, and Granny Smith apples, right? Those are all examples of hybrids too. So how do you make a hybrid apple? In order to answer that question, you must first understand the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent. Sexual reproduction produces diversity, which means the offspring have different genes than the parents do. So suppose you had an apple farm that only had Macintosh apple trees and you wanted to expand your orchard. To continue growing Macintosh trees, what kind of reproduction would you use? Asexual, right? Because you want the offspring trees to be identical to the parent trees. Real apple farmers accomplish this through a process called grafting or cutting the branches from a parent Macintosh apple tree and joining them with the bases of new trees. What about the opposite? How would you start growing brand new apple trees in your orchard? Here's a hint, you would need diversity. Yep, that's right, sexual reproduction. For example, to produce an apple that has the sweet taste of Gala and the firmness of a Granny Smith, you would let gala blossoms be fertilized by pollen from Granny Smith trees through a process called cross-pollination. Then you would use the seeds produced by this process to grow hundreds of trees. If done correctly, some of these new trees should have the right combination of genes to be a firm, sweet apple. What would you call your new apple variety? Maybe Granala or Gale Smith? And all those other frankenfruits we talked about earlier, they were made the same way. Mmm. Not bad. Now it's your turn. Suppose you wanted to develop a new fruit and had red raspberries and blackberries. Blackberries are smooth, while raspberries are fuzzy and have a hollow center. What kind of reproduction would you use? What kind of traits would the new fruit have? And, almost as importantly, what would you name 